Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator from Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today we've got a video about another change that may have been planned for the Iowa-class battleships that I have never seen, heard of, or read about anywhere before, but it may answer some questions about the emergency diesel generator on Battleship New Jersey that I have long had. Iowa-class battleships each have two 250 kilowatt emergency diesel generators as built. These are here for a couple of reasons. The ship's main electric plant runs off of steam and can create up to 10,000 kilowatts of power, which is a significant amount, one of the largest amounts of any warship during World War II. Only some of the turboelectric ships, which are running their main engines essentially off of electricity, have power generating capabilities that exceed the Iowa class, and because all that power is going to their uh, motors pro uh, creating propulsion for the ship, they aren't using that for like electrical systems around the vessel. So the Iowas have the most electricity to send to their various motors around the ship. If for some reason we don't have steam pressure or to supplement that, we've got these two emergency diesels. So if something happens, it's pretty common on Navy ships. Yorktown pretty famously loses steam at Midway, um, has their boilers blown out. Like it happens in combat fairly frequently. And if that electrical power is lost, the emergency diesels can come on automatically and they'll power about half of the lights in the room. They're wired on an emergency circuit and it'll give you enough power that you can start to run your electric auxiliary pumps and compressors and things like that which will give you just enough to kickstart your steam system and get it running again. Again, famously at Midway, Yorktown is able to recover from having her boilers blown out and build back up steam pressure before a second attack wave comes. So, in today's video, we are in the forward emergency diesel generator room, or forward auxiliary machinery room, AMR. I've seen it referred to as both, although I believe the Book of the General Plans refers to it as uh, forward diesel. Uh, this space has both the diesel generator and two of the ship's three evaporators on the level above us. And it is the forwardmost of the 10 engineering spaces that are in line. So you got forward diesel at the beginning, and then you've got alternating the four fire rooms and the four engine rooms, and then aft diesel at the end. Aft diesel is fairly intact. The, the diesel appears, appears to be complete. But forward diesel is completely disassembled and none of the parts are here. It's all gone, it's all taken apart. Um, this does not seem to be standard for mothballing because aft is completely intact, like I said. Um, and I always assume that, oh, you know, the Iowas are using these weird old 1930s or 40s diesels, so they took them for spare parts. Uh, when New Jersey's taken out of service, Missouri and Wisconsin are deploying to the Persian Gulf. So they take a lot of parts off of this ship and off of Iowa to use as spares on them. And in the past, I've even said that uh, the, the best reason that we can imagine that this is all taken apart is for spares for those other Iowas. However, check out this document that Ed Zakowski found in his research. He's one of the blueprint experts in the hints of fleet that supports other museum ships with his findings. And this page uh, that we're flashing specifically shows that New Jersey and Iowa have Alco diesels and that the other uh, Iowas, Missouri and Wisconsin that are completed, Illinois and Kentucky that are not, we're going to have uh, Cooper Bessemer diesels on them. And I assume that's what they got. Um, and th this document was super interesting for me because any book that you read will just say that the Iowas have 250 kilowatt diesels. Go on Wikipedia right now, it'll say 250 kilowatt emergency diesels. It doesn't say what type, um, so forgive me for assuming that they would have all been built with the same type. They weren't all built with the same type of engine, so why would they be built with the same type of emergency diesels? Um, but it was really interesting seeing that document because all the nameplates from our diesel has been removed. Uh, both the ones in forward that's not intact anymore, so that's not surprising, but also the one 
back in Act Diesel it doesn't have any nameplates, so I couldn't have even told you it was an Alco, American Locomotive Corp Corporation, um, until I read this document from Ed. So that then begs the question, if I was taken out of service first, followed by New Jersey, at that point, to my knowledge, there are no other Navy ships that are using Alco emergency diesels anymore. Uh, Alcos were used on uh, some of the minesweepers, and I believe Hazard in Omaha, Nebraska is a museum ship that still has Alco diesels on her. But those are a slightly bigger type. Um, so I'm not aware of any other ships that would be using this that they would need to strip parts for. So why then is it being disassembled? That is where this document in the collection comes from that we've never seen before. It's uh, a complete packet here sent to the Long Beach Naval Shipyard. Um, Mr. Domingo Gastoso. And it is a study for 750 kilowatt standby generators to be installed on USN battleships, dated April 2nd, 1987. Uh, so really only the, this first document here in the stack is important. Uh, the rest of it are various sales documents relating to uh, diesels that this company has made before. But the, the crux of the document is that in the mid-80s, the Navy was looking at replacing the emergency diesels on the Iowa class with something three times as powerful, going from 250 kilowatt to 750 kilowatt. Uh, the types of diesels in here are also used on the Leahy and Belknap classes of ships, so they're present on other Navy ships in the 70s and 80s and 90s time period. Um, they, they seem to be successful. There, there's a reason the Navy is soliciting information from them. I suspect they're looking at all of their contractors, and for whatever reason, this packet is the only one that survived. Um, how it goes from Long Beach to end up on Battleship New Jersey, I do not know. It may be that um, all the packets are forwarded to the various ships for their chief engineers to look at. Um, it, it may be that it was sent directly to the Battleship instead of whatever planning office at Long Beach. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, whatever the case, it was not carried out. So the question becomes, did they start to carry it out, and this is evidence of it, or is this remarkable new document completely unrelated to the disassembly work that's been done on our forward diesel? My suspicion is, even if the Navy intended to carry this out and add a little bit more electrical power to the Iowa-class battleships, the fact that they're decommissioned before they get another yard period, 87 would have been when New Jersey's getting her last yard period, with the exception of the one where she's actually being decommissioned. Uh, so they might have been planning at that time work that was gonna happen the next time she comes into the yard. Of course, that doesn't happen. And then, of course, the Iowas are all decommissioned very shortly thereafter, so they don't spend the money to standardize their diesels, standardize them with the modern Navy, and uh, remove it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the work hadn't started. Or this could have just been part of the normal maintenance cycle that gets interrupted by the ship's decommissioning. We really, really don't know. If you worked in uh, one of the, if you worked in one of the AMR spaces on New Jersey in the late 80s, let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, also, if you know a model number for these specific Alcos, I went through Alcos catalog from the time period that these ships were being built, and I couldn't find any that were 250 kilowatts that were used by the Navy. Um, all, all of them seemed to be a slightly bigger type. So I don't know if they somehow throttled that down, in which case the question becomes why um, or what. But I'd love to find more information out about our diesels. Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum and the ongoing research we get to do to find out possible answers to questions like this that keep me up at night.
You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.